you with him. Uh, That's right. I think we've got him on the line yes, from uh, Beirut. Uh, Emil Ahoud, uh, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, for our audience, of course, Emil Ahoud, former president of Lebanon. Uh, you have a lot of experience, Emil Ahoud, about division in the Arab world. Before we get on to that and the response to uh, the Israeli aggression, what, what do you think the Israeli goals are in this uh, current onslaught? They seem to have been changing them over the past few days. It's day 11. What, what, your view? Well, uh, first, uh, I would like uh, just uh, to remind uh, about what happened in the past. Uh, as you know, uh, Israel has been defeated twice in Lebanon, once in 2000 and another time in 2006. And uh, as you know, according to the Vinograd uh, report, uh, uh, all uh, was put uh, because uh, the way they uh, led the war, uh, they couldn't uh, uh, defeat uh, the resistance in Lebanon. And uh, I think what is happening now is that Israel has chosen, uh, according to her thoughts, uh, the right moment uh, to do this attack. Uh, first, uh, as you know, uh, the uh, administration, the U.S., uh, will take over uh, not uh, before to, uh, the 20th of this month, uh, the election of the president in Palestine on the 9th. Uh, at the same time, uh, everybody is busy, uh, whether in the U.S. Uh, and uh, 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 everywhere, uh, there is no, uh, I mean, uh, 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 thinking uh, about taking a, a U.S. decision now. So uh, they chose that moment uh, to uh, launch their attack on uh, uh, Gaza. And uh, uh, their, uh, I think their goal is, uh, as I said, uh, to wipe up the uh, defeat they had because they don't want uh, the Arab world uh, to have people like in Lebanon be uh, a national resistance in the face of uh, Israel. And they thought that it will be easier in uh, Gaza. Why? Because, as you know, in Lebanon, uh, because of our uh, good relations with the uh, uh, Syria, the uh, frontier uh, in 2006 was open between Syria and Lebanon and in 2000. Whereas now in Gaza, uh, as you know, the Rafah uh, uh, barrier is closed by Egypt. So, and the uh, surface of uh, the Gaza Strip is one third of what is uh, the f uh, one third of the frontier of uh, Lebanon where they had the attacks. So they thought maybe it will be a very easy. Uh, I mean uh, uh, victory over uh, uh, one part of uh, a resistance uh, in uh, one of the countries in the Arab world. Do you think, but, uh, do you think Hamas, fe think do you think Hamas that, fell into uh, a do you think Hamas fell sorry. into a trap? Then do you think Hamas fell into a trap as Israel launched the November the fourth uh, missiles that then catalyzed the the missiles, uh, the rockets from Hamas? Do you think they fell into a trap? They were, after all, talking with the Egyptians. Well, I think uh, they had been planning that for a long time, and they chose the right moment. They thought they chose the right moment. Uh, but I think, uh, according to military, I mean, uh, uh, if you think from the point of uh, view of military, uh, uh, even if it is a small strip, and even if it is closed from everywhere, uh, uh, and even if you go inside, uh, uh, then the real war will start. We've seen in Iraq what happened. The, they said when the U.S. landed in uh, Baghdad, everything was finished. I remember at that time we had the visit of uh, Secretary of State uh, Powell who said everything is over. And I remember I told him that now the resistance will start in Iraq. And that's what's going on uh, now for so many years. So if uh, they think uh, that it will be a victory, that uh, uh, they can go a little bit in Gaza, uh, they are mistaken, because then they don't have anything to lose in Gaza. And so there will be a very uh, uh, strong resistance against the occupiers. There are uh, reports, especially in US-based media, that they were training uh, for urban guerrilla warfare in uh, a base in the Negev Desert. Uh, what you were saying, of course, goes to what happened with the British in Belfast and that kind of urban asymmetric warfare. 
what about the toll on civilians? If they go in that deep and there is that sort of urban fighting that you s imply Hamas will uh, uh, succeed, uh, uh, succeed in, what sort of toll on civilians should we be expecting in the next few days? Well, as you know, it's uh, really a massacre that's going on now. Uh, if you look, uh, you, don't, uh, you find uh, on television and the news, it's uh, the uh, uh, children and women and, uh, 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 I mean, uh, people who are not uh, armed that are being killed because uh, the resistance is underground and they cannot uh, know where they are. And because of that, the resistance has the advantage. And uh, uh, I think from the military point of view that uh, it will be a very difficult uh, case for Israel thinking that it will have an easy victory. But unfortunately is that uh, the Arab world is looking on without doing anything. Well, a bit, we a find, bit of history. Uh, uh, it's uh, the only people who are st uh, saying something as you know, is Syria and uh, well, Qatar. Emil, and we have abroad uh, uh, Turkey and Iran uh, that are, uh, uh, I mean, uh, asking the international, uh, I mean, uh, uh, people to uh, uh, make enough pressure uh, in the UN. But uh, unfortunately, as you know, uh, it's the US that is blocking everything like it happened in 2006. Can I? Can I just ask you, because you have that experience uh, with uh, your uh, very senior positions in Lebanon, um, the reaction of Arab countries during the Israeli invasion of Lebanon in 2006. Perhaps uh, some of your experiences uh, will help our viewers understand uh, Arab reactions to Israeli uh, incursions in the past. It, what was the Israeli reaction to the invasion of Lebanon then? and uh, the early days of the war, the, the, Arab, the Arab reaction, and particularly the Egyptian reactions. Uh, in 2006, I was uh, the president of, Rebel, uh, of Lebanon at that time, and I remember the first day uh, the hostilities uh, started uh, on Lebanon from Israel. Uh, I uh, had a talk with the television the first day, and I said they will not be able to defeat uh, the resistance because uh, they are like air. You don't know where they are. They ca you cannot catch.